Ricky, we saw uh, Virat Kohli get booed when he walked out onto the ground today. It's something you've experienced yourself in England. Uh, what did you make of that? The crowds must have woken up after the first innings because they gave him a, a big hand of a, a round of applause going out in the first innings. Um, yeah, I don't like seeing it at all. I mean, it didn't worry me as a, as a player in England when it happened a couple of times, but um, you almost got to accept it as a bit of acknowledgement for, for what you've done in the game, I guess. So, But look, I'd rather see not see that happen at all. Oh, and that is sublime batting from Virat Kohli. He makes it look so very easy. So how do you think Virat will take that? Do you think that'll be the same as you, that you sort of seize it as a bit of respect as well? Yeah, water off a duck's back, I'm sure. He's probably had worse things happen to him on a cricket field than being booed by a couple of spectators as he walks on. But... Right, more positive shot, uh, shot making from Travis Head. Travis Head, we saw batted quite well last night and it couldn't quite... Couldn't quite get three figures today. Early in his test career, what have you made of him, sort of two and a half tests in? Uh, I've known Travis for a long time. I've had quite a few dealings with Travis over the last five or six years since he took over the captaincy at, at South Australia. And I've spent a bit of time around the, you know, the Australian short, um, white ball teams as well, of which he's been a part. So I'm really impressed by him as a player and, and as a person. You know, he's a very level-headed young man, very, very calm and pretty confident in his own game. And... You know, when you play a home test match as well, there's that, there's that little bit of added pressure. So for him to come up and stand up like he did in this game um, with all his family and friends around and more importantly when his team needed to, I, I thought he played exceptionally well and I think the, the future's quite bright.